Hey Storytime friends, how are you doing today? If you haven't done Storytime with me before, I'm Miss Lisa from Worthington Park Library and we are in my very exciting backyard to do a story time today. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the more we get together. Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna use a few signs in this one. We're gonna use the sign for more, the sign for together, and the sign for happy. Let's do it. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job. I'm glad you remember that. All right. Well, this week we are going to be talking about something outside, which is why I'm outside. I don't know if you remember way back when in the spring, we talked about why we have seasons and we are going to be talking about the season that we are in right now, fall or sometimes called autumn. They mean the same thing. All right. So let's talk about fall a little bit. Let's see. What do I hear when I'm outside in the fall? I hear the wind rustling through the leaves. That means the wind is making the leaves move. I hear my neighbors playing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I might hear squirrels moving all around and birds making some noise. And I live near the city, so I might hear some city noises too. All right, so that's what we'll hear. What do you see when we're outside in the fall? I see that some of my leaves in my backyard are starting to change color. That's right. That's a big thing we remember about fall is that our leaves start to change color on our trees. And then what do they do next? Do you know? They fall down. That's right. And then let's see something else that you might see is that you might see a lot of people visiting the farm, going to pumpkin patches or apple orchards. Some of the things you might taste in the fall are probably apples and pumpkins. Yum. We had chili last night. Delicious. Let's see, what else might you have in the fall? Oh, we should talk about what you might smell in the fall. I smell like this one right now. Bonfires. You might smell bonfires in the fall because it's starting to get a little bit colder. Yeah. Oh, that's the next one. What do we feel in the fall? We start to feel a little bit cooler because we're a little bit farther away from the sun than we were in the summer. Yeah, because of the way our planet moves. All right, so we're gonna do a couple of books about fall. I love talking about fall. It's one of my favorite seasons. There's only four, so it's not stiff competition. All right, so we're going to talk about some of the things you might see in the fall with In the Middle of Fall by Kevin Henkes, and it's illustrated by Laura Drosnack. It's from Green Willow Books. Oh, that is not the first page. No, it is not. In the middle of fall, when the leaves have already turned. Oh, so we're not quite in the middle of fall yet, are we? And the sky is mostly gray. Well, that's true today. And the air is chilly, also true. And the squirrels are frisky. That means they're moving around a lot. And the gardens are brown. You know, yesterday I was at a farm and the sunflowers had grown and were drying and we saw birds taking the sunflower seeds out of there. Ooh, I'm having no luck with pages today, huh? And the pumpkins are ready. And the apples are like ornaments. Oh, I love going to the apple orchard. It takes just one big gust of wind and all at once. It really wants to go back to that sunflower page, doesn't it? Everything is yellow and red and orange. Look at those bright colors. You know other colors that I see in the fall? Sometimes I see some browns and some greens too. all over all around right in the middle of fall do you like watching the leaves fall i do too 
but remember it because soon the yellow and red and orange will be gone. Still a pretty view, isn't it? The sky will change again. Oh, we don't know why he can't play on the swing in the cold. And then soon, very soon, the sky will be white and empty. Ready to fill up with snow. Maybe he just went in to get a jacket. That is the end. And that, like I said, was from Kevin Henke's. He also has in the middle of spring, or when spring comes. Um, that's very pretty as well. You did a great job with that story. I hope you liked it. All right, let's do, let's sing a little song about leaves. Are you ready? All right, do you know this tune? All right, do you wanna do it with autumn leaves are falling down? Ready? And we're gonna fall down. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down all over town. Good job. Now we're going to do changing colors. Let's go like this to change colors. Are you ready? Autumn leaves are changing colors, changing colors, changing colors. Autumn leaves are changing colors all over town. Good job. Oh, they should have Sorry about that. They change colors first and then they fall down. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to rake them up. Are you ready? Take a rake and rake them up. Rake them up. Rake them up. Take a rake and rake them up all over town. Now what else do we do? Do we make a pile and jump on in? All right. Ready? Make a pile and jump on in. Jump on in. Jump on in. Make a pile and jump on in all over town probably just in your yard you should stay in your space yeah all right i think you did a great job with that one i hope you had fun let's see i would like to do one of my favorite stories about fall this one is called fall is not easy and it's written and illustrated by marty kelly and it's just a cute little book so i'm gonna hold it pretty close to you it's from Zeno Press. Fall is not easy. Winter is easy. My branches are bare. What's happening in the winter? What do you see? Lots of snow falling, huh? Then snow starts to melt and springs in the air. <gasps> My kids love to look at this book up close and see some of the details. Like, there's a little flower, and there's a bird coming in to build a nest. Oh, now spring comes after winter. We've learned that. Springtime is easy. Green leaves start to grow. That is what happens with most trees. Green leaves grow in the spring. Then spring rains are followed by the summer sun's glow. Summer is easy. Just bask in the sun. That means just soak in the sun. Oh, look at that. How many birds do you see now? You know what I forgot to point out in spring? That mama bird had baby birds. Yeah. Then breezes blow cooler and summer is done. Fall is not easy. It's time for a change. Green leaves all turn colors, but mine all look strange. Well, that isn't right. And that's just all wrong. My colors won't go where I think they belong. Is that what any tree you know looks like? I've never seen a tree look like any of these. My leaves should be fire, all brilliant and bright. Hmm, what do you see there? That one looks like a sandwich, maybe a hamburger or a chicken sandwich. <gasps> that one looks like the world. And I try and I try, but they won't come out right. 
I think that page always makes me laugh. It says, eat it, Joes. But just when my patience begins to wear thin, what did it make now? A pumpkin. And this one is all rainbow colors. Do trees usually have blue leaves? Not usually. My leaves all fall off and winter blows in. Winter is easy. I love that one. I hope you enjoyed it. My kids all really like that it starts off so serious and talks us through all the seasons and then it gets so silly, doesn't it? All right, let's go ahead and do, let's do another story. Are you ready? This one's called The Busy Little Squirrel. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this one because there's a part for you. Yes, you, I need you to read the story with me. Are you ready? Okay, you're going to say over and over again, he was so busy. Are you ready? Okay, The Busy Little Squirrel by Nancy Terfiri. I don't know if you've noticed how busy squirrels are in the fall, but they are very, very busy. This one's from Simon and Schuster. <gasps> Leaves were falling and the air was getting cold. Where's the squirrel going? All we see is his tail and his legs. It was time to, for squirrel to get ready for winter. <gasps> squeak, squeak, said Mouse. Will you nibble a pumpkin with us? But squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. <gasps> what is he getting? Can you tell? <gasps> He's picking some apples. Sweet, sweet, said Bird. Will you rest on a branch with us? But the squirrel couldn't. Do you know why? You ready to say it with me? He was so busy. What is he doing now? He's sneaking into the bird seed, isn't he? Croak, croak, said Frog. Will you hop rocks with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was, what is he gonna say? He was so busy. I think he's collecting berries now. Meow, meow, said the cat lie in the sun with us. But Squirrel couldn't. Why? Lying in the sun sounds delightful. <gasps> he was so busy. You're right. What's he picking now? <gasps> oh, acorns. Yeah. Woof, woof, said Dog. Will you run in the field with us? But Squirrel couldn't. Why? He was so busy. What is he picking up now? Oh, that's a tricky one. Do you know what that is? He's getting corn. Yeah, he's picking corn right off the plant. That would be very tricky for a squirrel. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo, called Owl. Will you watch the moon with us? But squirrel couldn't. Why? <gasps> tricky, tricky. He was fast asleep. Look at Squirrel in there sleeping. What does he have in there with him? <gasps> he collected all of his food for the winter. That's why he's been so busy. And do you see what's starting to happen outside? It's starting to snow. Yeah, squirrels will collect their food for the whole winter because guess what? They can't go to the grocery store. Have you ever seen a squirrel at the grocery store? Pushing his little shopping cart, picking out some acorns. No, they can't go there. So they collect all of their food for the whole winter. Whew, that would be tiring, wouldn't it? All right, let's go ahead and let's talk through one more story, but we're not gonna read the whole story because it's a little bit long when we've already read a couple stories. This one is called Leaf Man and it's by Lois Ellert. And I don't know if you've seen this one before. Lois Ellert has a bunch of fantastic ones for fall. But I really like it because she uses real leaves in her pictures. And look, she made a leaf man. Do you see him? He has eyes and a mouth. Boop, eyes, mouth, and a head, and a body, and an arm and a hand, and an arm and a hand, and a leg, and a foot, and a leg and a foot. And it says, leaf man used to live in a pile of leaves. 
But then one day he blew away. And then she makes all these beautiful places where the leaf man could be. Like, oh, oh, and she says, he left no travel plans. Like, maybe he's headed past the chickens. Do you see how she made chickens out of the leaves? I love that. And as we go through, you'll see she made lots of different things, like ducks and geese. And, oh, she cut some of them, I think, for this page to do pumpkins and winter squash and carrots and cabbages and potatoes and a big turkey and orchards. That's the places where fruit trees grow. Prairie meadows. Yeah. Oh, and some fish. And, oh, my kids always like to look for the turtle in that page. And he goes all through and at the end of the story she says to keep an eye out because you might find a leaf man or a leaf woman near you so you might find your own leaf man in a pile of leaves or maybe a leaf chicken depending on what you're looking for all right let's talk through a couple other stories that I really like and think you might enjoy too uh, Red Leaf, Yellow Leaf is also by Lois Ellert, and it's also very pretty. You'll see a lot of our books this week have oranges and reds and yellows on the front. Do you remember we talked about that in, in the middle of fall? This one, hat on, hat off. If you have a little one, this will look very familiar, because mm -hmm. this baby does not want to keep their hat on. So the hat's going to go on, the hat's going to go off, the hat's going to go on, the hat's going to go off, and it reminds me of every moment of motherhood so you might enjoy that one full of fall is a beautiful poetry book by april polisayer i think you'll like that one too if you're looking for poetry type stories this one fall leaves has hardly any words in it but in all of the words she uses them a couple different ways and it's by loretta holland so like for instance Fall leaves could mean the leaves that you see in the fall. And fall leaves could also mean when fall is getting ready to go away and leave. Yeah. So this one's beautiful. I love the illustrations. I just want to show you how pretty the pages are. Isn't it so pretty? And if you're reading this with a littler one, all you have to read is the big print. If you're reading it with a younger one, or with a bigger one who's more into it, you can read all the smaller print. I love when books have two texts like that. It makes it nice and easy to adjust. And then the last one I wanted to point out was Bella's fall coat. How cute is Miss Bella? I know, she's got to get ready for a fall. All right. I hope that that gave you a, fun, a couple of fun new books to read. Um, and if you're looking for any and you want to come in the library and ask, just come in and talk to us. We'll, happy to, we'll be happy to find you some books for you. Okay, let's go ahead and do Tickle the Clouds, and then we're going to be all done for this week. Ready? Can you reach way up high? Oh, way up high. Ready? And tickle. Tickle the clouds. <gasps> tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Oh, I disappeared, didn't I? Reach up high. Story time's over. Let's wave. Goodbye. Have a good week, friends. I'll talk to you soon.